we got ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, another one of those. That's cool. Right. But the whole time I'm over here quiet, grinding. And Clearly then they look right. up and it's a billion dollar brand. Shout out to Nick Cannon, because Nick Cannon doesn't get enough props for his business, his work ethic, and, and what he does behind the scenes. Um, you know, people know him for various reasons, but there's one brand that we can't, like when you say Nick Cannon, you can't say Nick Cannon without saying this brand, which is Wild and Out. And mm -hmm. I think it was like a year or two ago, there was some issues of that. It really wasn't his, was it his? Like there was this big confusion and he was recently on the Joe Budden podcast talking about Wild and Out and one of the things that I got out of it was just putting your head down and working and the results that it creates. So let's listen to it. My competition was pumped. Mm -hmm. It was me and Ashton Kutcher. Mm -hmm. And that was the one that they held up and they embraced him. So they like, let Nick do his little thing. Yeah. We got pumped. Uh -huh. Outlasted them. Then they got another guy that they got really excited about. I was like, oh, we got ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, they had on that. Another, another one of those. All right. Mm -hmm. Another one of those. That's cool. Right. But the whole time I'm over here quiet, grinding. And Clearly then they look right. up and it's a billion dollar brand right. that has many verticals uh -huh. from touring, yeah. from brick and mortar, merchandise, mm. gaming, restaurant. <laughs> like, using them words. Like, so none of their other brands have done that. Still their number one digital brand to this day is Wildin' Out. Man, yeah. <laughs> what, what does Jay say? Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. And I just think anytime that, that numbers are a part of the conversation, everyone shuts up. Whatever debate is going on about who's the best and who's not the best, the minute someone can have their numbers and their proof like that, that's phenomenal. But we can't also talk numbers without addressing the obvious, which is what he did to produce the numbers. Mm -hmm. And to your point about the work ethic, the consistency, regardless of what was happening in his life, and there have been many different reasons why we could uh, uh, we even know about Nick Cannon through different other formats right whether it be his personal life his love life his children his this there are other things that we know about him but when you think about despite of all of that his brand or that the wall and out brand is where it's at that shows you the level of focus consistency discipline drive that somebody's got to have to be able to deal with those things but still keep something running the way it is so that it just goes back to the intangibles like we saw in the beginning it was authenticity and vulnerability and now you're seeing some more of those traits and characteristics here that you need to infuse into yourself before you see it manifest into your brand and even the revenue of your business or what it's producing like you gotta really double down on you so that even if you're not getting the attention, when the conversation does come up, it's undisputable. Like, oh, wow, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea. But I can't ignore the fact that these numbers are present because right. reports, data, everything will come back and show me what even what I didn't know. So uh, th that, yeah, I, I can't even say anything else about that. That's incredible. Yeah, I, I this said my hits home, so I'm going to say it in a different way. So, um, so what I like about this was there's you you see the new shiny object, right? At, at what he said was punked and ridiculous. Right. Oh, we got punk. We got ridiculous. We're going to put our energy to that. We're going to put we we see you, but you do whatever you want. Right now. Other people could get very discouraged. Right. Like other people get very discouraged. Like, you know, I'm not getting the attention. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting 
the the same exposure. I'm not doing, um, they're not giving me the same energy. But what he did was like literally put his head down and was like, I'm going, I'm going in, I'm going in. I'm, I'm going to build this. And then the fact that he said, yo, I got, you know, brick and mortar. I got uh, a digital product. I got uh, merchandise. I got gaming. I got like, first off, I didn't know. Like, I actually saw a while and out, like, spot. And I was like, I'm so confused. What does that even mean? What it, do they come there? Do they not? Like, what's, what's happening, right? Um, but he built that to where it's like, hold up. We need a part of that, mm. right? You have all ownership of this? No, 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 no. Hold on. We, we. We got to figure this out because you're actually still going while these other two are gone or gone. gone. Yeah. Well, I think one is still running, but ridiculousness might be still on. Yeah. 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 I think that's still running, but regardless, um, they're not, they don't have the same amount of, of, uh, popularity as it used to. Wild and out, still going, still going strong on tour and everything. And it's like, hold on. We need a part of that somehow, some way, because what you're on our platform, right? Right. So, and, and in that same interview, he was like, yep, so we came to, to an agreement that, you know, that makes me comfortable. That makes me comfortable, mm-hmm. right? Um, I like that. Right, that makes me comfortable, and and then he also spoke about, you know, uh, I think it, he I think he did give up fifty percent, and was like, you know what, they're going to now give the energy it needs, they're going to get the, and I'm okay with doing that because now my team can chill out a little bit and let this team take it to new heights, and. It brings up several things for me. One, regardless of what you may think you deserve or how much energy should be put into you, you still have to have your own base. You still have to have your own thing going on because you're the one that has the the dream. You're the one that sees the potential of it. And so, though it may not be being grown as fast as others it's still growing because you're putting energy to it and never to get too discouraged that it stops right but when they finally do see what it's worth when people finally do recognize how dope you are you have to put yourself in certain situations where you only get in partnerships or or situations that is going to elevate what you've already done on your own. Not something that you feel like it's owed to them because you're on their platform, but you clearly see, oh, snap. They are about to take me to whole new heights. This makes sense. And financially wise, it makes sense. Exposure wise, leverage wise, it all makes sense now. But that possibly couldn't have happened if he would have been like, oh, you spending more time with punk and you're spending more time with ridiculousness. Like it could have been just a pilot that could have failed. But he was like, nah, we don't. And the, 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 Real great thing about Wildin' Out, it was literally a platform in order to put his friends on. Mm. Let me highlight yeah. some of the other great comedians and stand-up artists, and let me put them here and, and show the world how dope they are. And he continues to do that. Like, we know of a, a if we're talking about relevant stuff, like a DC Young Fly. Because of wilding out. Yeah. We know of a a, a B Simone because of wilding out. A pretty V because of wilding out. You know? 
or plays a factor uh, in that. And so to come from pure intentions of let me put people on and building it and believing it more than maybe others would, and then finally being in a position where they see what you do and want to be a part of it and making strategic moves based off what other people can do, not because they felt like they had to or anything. I think Nick Cannon needs more flowers than he really gets because that's that, that whole movement for it to be a billion dollar brand to have such different components of wild and out, which seems just like a really dope comedic show to, Oh no, we're touring. No, we got merchandise. We got this, we got that. We got like, it's very major. inspiring. It's very yeah. inspiring. And yeah, it, it shows major. a lot of what putting your head down and working does. I mean, yeah, that's major. Yeah, the, the fact that he's accomplished all of those things simultaneously, diversified a brand, built a brand, put his people on, made a name for himself. It's like there's so many things that have happened under that one roof, which it just shows that we can always do more with an opportunity. Right. It's just once, once an opportunity is, whatever's in our hands, we can always do more with it. That's a perfect example. A guy took something that could be uh, any stand-up tour. I don't know. I don't know of any stand-up tour that made a billion, but the fact that he can get that valuation out of it—that's incredible. Big facts. <laughs>